So today, Peyton and I are looking at two-digit multiplication using this pretty cool tool from Google called Jamboard that I didn't know I had access, but I do. And the big idea we want to look at for two-digit multiplication is what's up with that placeholder? I'm going to show Peyton something called the turtle method. Do you know what the turtle method is, Peyton? Okay, so let me show you the turtle method. Today we're doing 12 times 11. Hopefully this is all showing up on my screen. I'm going to get a different color here because we're doing a turtle method. And I'm going to take this two-digit multiplication problem and I'm going to turn it into a turtle. Watch closely. Does it look like a turtle yet? No? Okay, let's make it a little, a little more like a turtle. How about now? Does it look a little <laughs> bit like a turtle? <laughs> All right, when we make the turtle head, that reminds us we're gonna multiply this number, one, times the 12. So we have 12 times 11, or 110 and two ones, times 110 and one one. And basically, we need to make sure that we multiply everything on the bottom by everything on the top. So we're gonna start, by making that turtle head so we know we're multiplying 12 times 1 and that's pretty easy isn't it? but we'll go through the steps just for the fun of it. 1 times 2 is what paper? 2. 2. Alright so we'll put the 2 down here. Uh, let's switch the colors again. What color do you want to use? Red. Red. That doesn't match at all but we'll go with it. Uh, 1 times 2 is 2 and then we do, you know what we do next Peyton? We do 1 times 2 uh, and then we do one times one. Do you know what one times one is? One. Yep, but this one isn't just one. What place value is that in, Peyton? Mm, the tens? It's in the tens place, so that represents one ten. So this is one one times one ten is one ten step. Now we get to that placeholder part, and I'm gonna use, uh, let's say, black for the placeholder, because the next thing we do is we need to make this turtle lay egg. Lay an egg. Do you know turtles lay eggs, Peyton? Yeah. You do? Yeah, so we're gonna make them lay an egg, and we're gonna lay that egg right down here, and this is gonna be our placeholder. So that we remember, and then after that, we give them a placeholder, and then we're gonna give the turtle a collar. Can you imagine why we give him a collar? We give him a collar so we remember that we're done with this one. It's all done. Don't use it anymore. And the next thing we have to do is multiply the 12 times this one. But look at the place value this is in. Is that one? Nope. Wait. What's its place value? It's in the ones, tens place. It's in the tens place. Because so, oh. 11 is 110 and 11. One. Oh, one. I'm sorry. No. Uh, sorry to confuse you. So now we have to do 110 times. What color should I use? Uh, should use uh, we'll stick with red. We'll do. No, I like using a different color for the next. We'll do yellow. No, they won't be able to see that. Black. We'll stay with black. Um, one. 10 times two ones. What's one times two? One times two is two. Is two, right? But it's not two because it's 10 times two. So it's 20. Look what we just did 20. Placeholder helps us remember that it's not two, it's 20, and it's two tens. Now we have to do 110 times 110. Do you know what 10 times 10 is? 100. It is 100. So we, but what's 1 times 1? One? 1. 1. But if I have that placeholder there, then I have 100, 2 tenths, and how many ones? Um, Zero ones. Yeah. Right? And look at this. This is 12 times 10. Do you know what 12 times 10 is? Yeah, it's 120. Look what we just got here. 120. You know what that means? That placeholder helped us remember that was not 12 ones, but 12 tens. So that way we didn't have to uh, remember that ourselves. You know what we do next, Peyton? No. 
Well, we multiplied this one by 12, we multiplied 110 by 12, and now we have to add them all together. If we add them all together, you know, do this, don't you? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we do next? Can you walk us through it? Uh, I do 2 plus 0. What's 2 plus 0? 2. 2, okay. And then what? You do 1 plus 2, which is 3. Okay. And then 1 plus 0, which is 1. Correct. So 132. So 12, 11 times, is 132. Nice work. High five, dude. So Peyton had a question to answer at the end of this. It says, what's up with the placeholder? Peyton, did you figure out what's up with the placeholder yet? Yeah. Can you tell us? It helps us understand we are multiplying by tens. What do you mean? Can you tell us what you're talking about when you say that? It helps us understand or remember that we're multiplying by tens? Is that what you said? It helps us understand we are multiplying by tens. How is that? So there's this placeholder right here, this egg that we laid. How is that helping us remember that we're multiplying by tens? You're not sure? So well, that I know it does. That's probably something we need to figure out, huh? So if you remember, we multiplied 12 times 1, and we got what? What's 12 times 1? 12 times 1 is 12. Is 12, right? But before we did that, we had to put this placeholder in. Why? because we're not multiplying 12 times one, but we're multiplying 12 times 10. So if we're multiplying 12 times 10, that's gonna give us 120. This method makes it a little bit easier because I don't have to multiply 12 times 10. I can just do 12 times one and have the placeholder there to help me remember that it's 12 times 10. Does that make sense, Peyton? Kind of. I'm multiplying 12 times 10. That's kind of a hard concept, isn't it? It also, what's the other thing it does? Um, About keeping the numbers lined up? Yeah, keeping the numbers lined up. Well, how does that help? Can you explain how that works? Uh, Let's look real quick. So if I had 12 over here and I had to add that to 12, because I did 1 times 12 and 1 times 12, yeah. what would I get? 24! 24, that's right. 12 plus 12 is 24. Is that the right answer? Yes, because 2 plus 2 is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2. And that's if you true. put them the wrong ways, So you it added won't it right, the same. but you would have been confused if you got that for this problem over here. Because this isn't 12 plus 12, this is 12 times 11. And if I put that 12 here without the placeholder and I added them all together, I would have gotten 24 instead of 132. That would have been a long ways away. So that placeholder Help helps us. me remember that it's not just 12, but it's 12 tens or 120. Peyton, do you know what's up with the placeholders now? Yeah. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. I'll test you on it later. So 12, 11 times, is 132. Nice work. High five, dude. If you've got any questions, you can message us in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.